Hi there and welcome to the second video um, of the wedding planning blog um, and I'm really pleased to welcome Katrina from Katrina Otter Weddings um, based in Huntingdon. Hi Katrina. Hi there. Um, and we're going to talk a little bit about um, wedding, using a wedding planner to help coordinate the actual wedding day itself. So Katrina, what are the advantages to having um, a wedding planner with you on the day to help you coordinate the day? Well, there are lots of advantages, um, but I suppose the main one is if you've planned the entire wedding yourself, um, you've, you've got that commitment, attachment, level of control of it. Yes. And it's nice to know that that control runs all the way through to the day itself. Yes. Because on the day, the last thing you want to be doing when you're putting on your dress or you're putting on your suit is worrying about suppliers arriving, whether timings are working correctly, yes, yes, um, yes. all those final last minute details. And just to know that you've got someone there to support you on the day is, I mean, that's the main advantage. It's there to ensure peace of mind and that yes. everything runs smoothly. Yeah, so it's an absolute peace of mind really, isn't it? Because I think you, as a bride on a wedding day, you must have so much buzzing around in your, in your mind emotionally and having to actually deal practically and logistically as well i mean it must be yeah. a huge relief to sort of have somebody to to take that burden from you actually and i think i know we were talking earlier about potential disasters yeah but if there was anything that was happening on the day say for example you know that the music doesn't work or there's a power cut yes do you really want to be dealing with it on your own wedding day? Yes, yes. Just know there's someone that you can call upon to actually go out there, yeah. do it, manage it. Yeah. Just, it puts you at ease actually. Yes, um, I can imagine. And I can, in actual fact, it's probably one of the most popular services I offer, purely because more and more people are actually understanding the importance. And I think as, as weddings get more and more complex as well and mm -hmm. increasing number of suppliers, DIY weddings, yes. because of the complexity of them now, having that support there is becoming more and more essential actually. Yes, yes. fantastic. So, so actually um, what you've just said is that it is possible for, for the couple to, to plan absolutely everything right up until the day and then, and then just have somebody such as yourself to come in just for the day. I think probably I had in my mind that it had to go along with you planning previously, but actually you offer the service just to come in and, and work on the day, don't you? Which, which Yeah, is so um, there's slightly more to it than just arriving on the day. Yes, and of course, yes. Hands and you, hello, you do, uh, we'll go through that plan. in a minute. Yes. Um, but yeah, um, essentially that, that is what it is to be, to be there on the day, to project manage, to yeah. coordinate. Um, but, you know, the other advantages, for example, I, as a guest, have been to weddings where the best man, for example, has been put in charge of being the photographer's main liaison yes. and rounding up guests. Yes. <laughs> they're, they're generally, generally rubbish. <laughs> and, and you just end up thinking to yourself, yeah, I wish I'd had someone there mm. actually doing that. Mm. Um, or throwing confetti mm -hmm. and your bridesmaids are in charge of that and they're... Yeah. They're off chatting to friends. Yes, yes. It's just ensuring that smooth running of everything that you have there on the day. That, that's very interesting, actually, because from what you just said, then uh, the number of weddings that I, as the photographer, will will sort out the confetti photograph, for example, or, or I think actually I have on occasion sort of moved people. You said actually, you know, we need to move on and do something, and actually, if there isn't somebody there to to push it along or to just mm. keep an eye on time. Um, actually, I think actually I found myself doing that on occasion. So you can sort of see how important it could potentially be, you know, potentially is. So typically, what 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 other things do you you ensure you do to ensure the smooth running of the day? Then you talked about sort of preparation beforehand and liaising with suppliers. Yeah. So um, really, where it starts off with is a complimentary consultation. Okay. So that's where I would either meet with a couple. Um, either face to face, depending on where they're based, or do a Skype call, yep. make sure we get along, talk a little bit about their wedding, talk okay. through the service in a little bit more detail. And then what I do after that um, is meet with them again, probably about four to six weeks before the wedding day itself. Right. Ideally, I do that at the venue. Okay. Um, yes. Unless it is miles away and it's not 
logistically practical mm. or for example the couple a lot of my couples live overseas okay. so once again it's another skype conversation but ideally it's a complete walkthrough of the venue yeah. so um i would ask the couples to turn up with their running order mm -hmm. and go through absolutely everything with them that they okay. need support and help with on the day yeah. so in in many ways they know that i'm in complete control of everything i'm doing because yeah, yeah. it's a handover yeah. um otherwise that would be on skype now a lot of the time some of my couples won't have a running order or schedule so that is part of the package if they need support and help and writing it yes. then uh my background used to be events, so I okay. love schedules. I seriously <laughs> love schedules. schedules. I've got a bit of a problem. <laughs> um, so, yeah, so I'm more than happy to write the schedule, actually break down timings, kind of give them pointers and advice if they've maybe already written it, but I think something needs to be sort of jiggled along the way. Yes, yes. Um, so I think that's quite important, actually, that they can see that I'm putting together and laying their day out for them. Yeah. And especially when it comes to deliveries, different timings of when suppliers are arriving. Um, so once we've got the schedule in place, we've gone through it, we've gone through actually what they want my role on the day to be, because it could be some couples require timeline management yes. um, and guest, guest management on the day. Other couples may turn around and say, actually, we're having a complete venue turnaround. Um, we don't think we've got enough people on site. We need help with it. So it completely varies. Okay. And that's the important thing to know about wedding day management. It's not just what's laid out on my website, for example, with the bullet points there, this is what I do. Wedding day management is whatever the couple wants me to do on yes. the day. Yes. So. If it's to get in a car and drive to the nearest supermarket to go and buy <laughs> extra supplies or something, then that's what I'll do. I'm there to give them that extra level of support, whatever that may be. Fantastic. Um, then what I would do is um, call all the suppliers mm -hmm. um, involved in the wedding itself, just to introduce myself. So I'm not some random person turning up on the day. Yes. Um, and then I would um, also just make sure that they've got everything that they need information wise from the couple and also that they they know the address, they've got the logistics, et cetera, and they know yes. the timings. Yes. So it's just sort of nice to have that little bit of introduction to make sure everyone's happy, yeah. um, make sure the couple are happy as well with what I'm doing, who I'm talking to. Some couples don't want me talking to some of their suppliers. That's absolutely fine. Mm -hmm. But. Um, I do ask them to give my contact details over if that's the case. Yes, yes. Um, then I would, uh, sometimes I even go to the venue the day before for a final handover um, and then I'd be there on the day. Okay. So as I said before, on the day can involve absolutely, absolutely anything. anything all, all and everything, I anything suppose. Anything they want me yes. to do. So whether yes. it is the timeline management, the guest list management, yes. Yes. Um, meeting suppliers on site, organising confetti shots, yep. that, that's what I'm there to do. But it's it's the roles that they would like me to do on the day. Fantastic. And I, I can really imagine, as you said at the beginning, what once you've, you've gone through all of that preparation with a couple, actually waking up on your wedding day and, and having passed over that sort of logistical responsibility, must be a, a, a huge sort of weight off your off your mind and, and you, mm. you, can, you can just then purely just you know just concentrate on enjoying what's happening rather than worrying about what's going to happen next I suppose. Yeah. Which be and because a lot of the venues now will have weddings throughout the week and especially yes. Friday, Saturday, Sundays. Yes. So say for example you were having a Saturday wedding and you are not allowed to get into the venue or the marquee yes, until the morning of the wedding. Common, isn't it? Yes. When you've put that much detail and thought and preparation mm. into your wedding, and then you're not actually setting it up yourself. Mm. Mm -hmm. If you have one of those natures where you have to control things, um, which I do myself, <laughs> but if you if you know that you you want to make sure it's perfect, it's it's absolutely what you imagined it to be like. Yes it's quite a hard feeling to hand it over to someone that you don't know. Yes. Um, whereas if you're handing it over to someone that is a professional planner, yeah. um, who's been through it with you, walked through it with you, seen your plan, seen your vision, it's just that extra just layer. Just a little bit smoother, isn't it? Belief. Yes, yes, absolutely. That's absolutely yeah. fantastic, Katrina. There's loads and loads of um, interesting information in there. Thank you very much indeed.
That's okay. <laughs> Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.